Hello and welcome to Flatlanders Flying, very first episode of Happy Hangar Time. In the hangar with Happy Hal. Happy ha hangers, hangers away. I'll hangar that. I don't know. I've got to work on a name for it. But we're going to review products around the hangar that can help your life. So we are a Midwest flying uh, pilot. I'm a Midwest flying pilot and it gets cold here. Uh, so I'm very excited to show you one of the cool products that we have purchased in order to make flying in the winter. And that product is this one called Switchy On. It is a remote outlet that uses a cellular network in order to turn on and off your engine block heater. Uh, there are other companies out there that make these cellular sort of switches, but I haven't found one so cheap um, and the product is really great. I am gonna spare you uh, me opening the box. Frankly, I was just too excited. And so I've already got it mounted and working, but I'm gonna show you the device itself, what it can do, what, it limit, what its limitations are, what its capabilities are. So I'm super excited about it. Very handy, very inexpensive to operate. So the, the unit itself costs $249. And that includes your first year of cellular data coverage. It uses the Verizon wireless network, costs $50 a year after the first year. So the first year you don't pay anything for the cellular coverage, which is pretty cool. Um, this particular one that I got has two outlets. So that one's 249. They do make a four outlet one as well. So you can control each individual outlet. Not sure, I don't remember what the price is on that. I think it's maybe a hundred dollars more. Um, so. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the product itself, how to use it, how the app works, and everything else. Uh, if you have a name for this, please let me know. And of course, as always, like and subscribe. All right, so here's the unit. I mounted it on the wall, as you can see, near the power outlet that we have. And um, because I'm a pilot and I like to play with safety wire, I safety wired it onto <laughs> the, uh, onto the conduit for the electrical. But the couple things to note, the antenna is separate. When you purchase it, you have to install the antenna. Uh, pretty straightforward, it just screws on. You just have to be careful not to screw it the wrong direction because inside of there is just a little nut uh, that holds it into place. So if you get to screw it around too much, it'll loosen that nut and the whole wire that connects to the circuitry can cause problems. So just make sure that you're very careful about that. Uh, you can see the same box, no matter if you get the two outlet or the four outlet, they just don't put any um, any wires through there. I'm not sure if it's pretty much you could just wire it in there or not. The box itself is weatherproof, um, so it's sealed to keep out humidity and moisture and everything else. Um, you can see it gives you a signal. It tells you the current Zulu time, uh, your local time, and then the temperature inside the hangar, which is really handy. It also shows you that on the app itself. Um, you can see that the cable's coming down and into the plugs, really high quality outdoor plugs. The, sh the, um, the plugins are shorter and the actual plugin itself is a little bit longer. I'd say the actual plugin itself is maybe, maybe three feet, three and a half feet. These are only about one foot, they're only about one foot leads. Um, so I'm still not sure. I haven't closed the hangar door since I installed this to see if the antenna is sufficient. They do sell a second secondary antenna that you can then run, you know, outside um, so that if you don't, you're not getting signal, it doesn't, you know, it, you can still get this system to work. So that's the unit itself. Next, we'll jump over to the app and I'll show you how the app looks. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to the app store and you're gonna search Switchy On. Switchy On is the app. Uh, and then go ahead and download that app. It's gonna bring you up a screen that looks similar to this. Now yours is gonna show offline on the left-hand corner where the temperature is. Um, and then it's going to have a name your device in the upper left-hand corner where mine says i5. Um, all you've gotta do is it will prompt you to scan the QR code. Now the QR code will show up in that little window box that I showed you on the device itself uh, when you first plug it in. So it'll show you the QR code. You, uh, the app prompts you to have access to your, um, 
to your camera and then it takes a picture of the QR code which connects the device to the app, which is really, really smooth. It works really, really well. From there, you can see it'll take a minute for it to activate. So it, it prompts you and says it's gonna take anywhere from five minutes to eight hours. Um, so when I turned mine on, it took about 30, 35 minutes for the cellular data to turn on and activate. Um, and one of the things I did to maybe try and wake it up is I went over to the info tab, the I button there, and I turned on high power channels one, and that seemed to, uh, to make it work, so to help it work. So you can see I named um, which switch, so it would say switch one and switch two there in the box, and then you just toggle on or off the, uh, the switches. Now it's gonna take a second because it's gotta communicate through, and there you go, it's gonna turn it back on here. Um, so that'll turn on the switches automatically, which is pretty cool. Other things that you can do is you can set up a count. So we can go into here. Obviously we don't currently have any automation, so we'll click that plus add button. And you can set up which channel, so which one of the, the uh, outlets, one or two, and the date and time, um, how you wanna do it. Do you wanna turn it on? Do you wanna turn it off? You can use temperature to turn it on or off. So that's a pretty cool function for people who maybe have some weather that sometimes it dips below 32 degrees, but it doesn't stay there very long and you wanna keep your engine nice and warm. Um, or you have a, somehow you have a heater that you, were, you plugged into this and you want it to heat up and, and hold the temperature inside of your hangar. So uh, for me, I like to keep it simple. It's just gonna be an on off engine block heater on and off uh, functionality. I will say that the unit itself says that it will handle 1800 watts and has a 15 amp internal fuse. So remember if you're plugging something in that has a 15 amp internal fuse might go off, which means you have to send this to Tannis to have that repair that fuse. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. I'm really excited about the product. I think it's great. I'm not a paid sponsor. It's just a, something that I found that I think could be very useful for a lot of pilots, especially in cold weather situations. Uh, if you found this interesting, if you found it fun, if you want to know more or have different products reviewed, hey, reach out, put something in the comments for me. Also, help me with the name of this. Um, I want to review some products for you guys so you can see them and, and get to experience them before you purchase them. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, like and see you on the next Flatlander Flying.